last morning in South Africa, kind of a crazy day. We had a flight scheduled to leave later that afternoon and we still had to get packed up, finish up some paperwork in camp, load up the trucks, drive three hours back to Johannesburg so we could get through security and jump on our flights back to Atlanta. So with all that going on and being short on time, we decided as a group to do what I think any reasonable person would do and that was jump in the truck and try to squeeze a few more hours of hunting in. Myself, Bob and Rayon drove to a different property that morning to hunt, which was about 35 minutes away. On this particular morning, we didn't have much time, only a few hours, so it didn't make much sense for Rayon to take the truck back to camp, only to turn around and come back to pick us up right away, so he jumped into the blind with me. And on top of that, Bob had his bow with him, but he was interested in taking some pictures and doing some filming, so he jumped into the blind as well. So here we go. The three of us are in the blind. 30 minutes after closing the door, we catch some movement off to our right, and the floodgates opened up. This was my second encounter with Blue Wildebeest over the course of the week, and the first meeting didn't turn out so hot. Oh, are you kidding me? But this seemed different. The group was much larger and for the moment remained much more calm. While hunting, I don't think I've ever said that I had a rough day because I saw too many animals, but this turned into complete chaos. Wildebeest everywhere. We were on the ground level, so there was dust everywhere. Rayon's trying to tell me where the good bulls are, but the cows have horns, the bulls have horns. They all look to be the same size to me and I can't figure out what he's talking about. Every time I drew back, a different animal stepped in front of me and I had to let down. It was amazing, exciting, frustrating, all at the same time when it finally slowed down for just a few moments. Just looking at us now almost. Yeah, now he's feeding. He's nice and wide, that bull. Now he's moving to the left. Yep. Can you get a range on that back there? It's almost between 20 yards, man. Yes. Straight up the leg. Wait, wait. Shit. Okay, yeah, that's good. The shot was solid, the track was maybe 100 yards, and the recovery of this blue wildebeest bull was an exclamation point on what was already an action packed trip. What we talked about, yeah. You see that's way past it. Yes. Nice. So that's good pool. Nice. That's shiny right. black. Perfect shot. That's why we have Land Cruisers, not Ford Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Seven days of bow hunting in South Africa. From the first few minutes, oh man, I'm just shaking. straight through, <sighs> up until the final moments. I spent a lot of time thinking about how I wanted to wrap all this up and was never really able to figure anything out, which I think is okay. After going through hours and hours of video, showed all the video that I wanted to show and I think I've said everything I wanted to say so we'll just keep this simple and end it like this.
Hey guys, thanks for checking out part five of our trip to South Africa. But don't stop there. In the description below this video, I'm gonna have the links to all five parts of our hunt with African barefoot safaris. Even better, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button, you won't miss anything. As always guys, if you like the video, thumbs up is appreciated. Leave your comments below, otherwise we'll catch you next time. Peace.